to turn the volume down, you know, it's about trying to find a little bit of his spirit. Happy birthday, Bob Marley. Exactly. What a perfect day for this premiere. Yeah, it really, really is, huh? It really is. And the rain, it's kind of something nice about it. It's kind of peaceful. It feels peaceful. So my question is, like, talk about uh, following playing Malcolm X to now play something, a uh, character, a uh, legend. So much responsibility. Did it ever, like, sort of hit you and, like... Did you feel that responsibility? When was that moment that you felt the responsibility? Well, it, it, it was always there. Kind of hits you in different moments, you know. But you can't to turn the volume down on it a little bit. Like the Bob's a legend, and the, how much he means to so many people. Like once, once you know that, which I knew before. Yeah. Just turn the volume down, you know. It's about trying to find a little bit of his spirit, just a little bit of his spirit, and the struggles that he went through, and the human side of him. Um, that required spending time with his family and his friends and people who loved him and who remember him with that love and awe, you know. So I learned about Bob through them in that way. Especially because Ziggy and Sadella produced the film. Yeah, Ziggy and Sadella and Steven and Ron and Lego and Lenny Dredd and Desi and Diane Job, like everyone, I spoke to everyone. So, I was just... so between physically and emotionally, what were the biggest hurdles, the biggest challenges that you faced with playing Bob Marley? Patois and music. Yeah, starting from scratch and dancing. Yeah, all of it. It was all of it. It was all a challenge, but it was all a wonderful challenge. You know? Last question. What do you hope people discover about Bob Marley? I don't know. I don't know. I hope they just get a, a feeling like they uh, on a bit more personal, understand him a little bit more personally and what he was going through. You know? Bravo. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.